Do you have any idea how many people visit your website's contact page or your client's website's contact page, but leave without contacting you? Or how many people start to fill out the contact form and in the middle of the process of filling out the form, they have a change of mind before hitting the send or submit button and bounce. I think if you were to know the exact numbers of leads being lost on contact pages and contact forms, you'd be very surprised. You spend all this time creating a really nice looking website, creating content, building funnels. So that way you can get more leads from clients and customers, but only to have a whole lot of leads being lost on contact pages. In this video, I'm going to show you how to minimize those losses and how to optimize your contact page and contact form so you can't start getting more leads. The way that I figured out how to optimize contact pages and contact forms it comes from my experience. I'm a full stack web designer. I've been studying and practicing UI and UX design for years now, and I have been working on optimization for ours and our client sites for years. I've also done a lot of heat maps and when I first started reading heat maps several years ago, I was astounded. I was very surprised on how many people start the process of filling out a contact form, but don't complete it. How many people have that change of mind and leave the contact form before hitting the send button. So I've done a lot of AB testing throughout the years to figure out ways to improve the conversion rate and to get more leads out of contact forms and contact pages. And real quick, before we get into the solution, please don't forget to subscribe, you know, all that good YouTube stuff. It really helps and I appreciate the support. So the problem, most people visiting contact pages don't complete the contact process. Let's take a look at three key areas where we can improve our conversion rates on the contact page. Number one, keeping it minimal. It is very tempting to want to gather as much information and data from the lead as possible. And your clients, they may be asking you for a long list of input fields. And this is one of the biggest causes for lost conversions. The more you ask a website visitor to fill in, the higher the chances are that they're going to start filling in the contact form, but then they're going to leave. Even if you have the most minimalist forms, the most basic of contact forms, and when I mean Basic, I'm talking about first name, email, and message. A contact form that small. Even with a contact form that minimal, you're still gonna have a high number of people that will start the process, start filling it in, but then something happens in between them starting to fill in the contact form and hitting the send button where they change their mind. And there could be several reasons for this that happens, but that's all it takes is that short amount of time. So. Anytime you want to add more input fields and more questions and more drop downs, that just increases the number of leads that are going to be lost. And the crazy thing is we don't need to get all that information we think we need to get. We don't need to get phone numbers. I mean, nobody wants to give out their phone number anymore. Nobody wants to get random phone calls. We don't need to get addresses. And there's a lot of things that we don't need to get. And there are a lot of things that would be nice and helpful for us to get. But keep this in mind that we could always get that once we establish a relationship with the client or customer. Now, if your client is asking you to make this very big contact form, they're asking to put a whole lot of things on there that are just unnecessary. And you know, this is going to harm their business. It's going to harm their, their leads and their sales. It's our responsibility as web designers to educate the client, to show them. There are several case studies out there to back this up. All it takes is a little bit of due diligence and research on Google, and you can find the information that you need. And go ahead and send this video to them. All right, number two, clean UI and design. Again, simplify here. A confusing contact page that has overwhelming information in a form that looks old and outdated or too small, or even hard to find, this causes frustration and your website visitors will leave out of pure frustration and probably never come back to your website. It's really important that we keep this minimal and clean. You want a lot of space. You want minimal text. You don't want to put a lot of information and you want to keep your contact form at the top of the page where it's easy to find. 
We want to give a good experience to those that are interested in talking to us. And this all comes from the design. We don't want to use old outdated forms. You know, those little tiny fills are like really small. They're boxy. They just look old. They look like something from like the early 2000s or even 1990s. So having a form that is looking new, fresh, it's clean. The fields are, you know, they're big, they got a lot of space and it's just really easy to use. It's going to give a far better experience for our clients and customers. And here's a quick fact, big companies like Google, Amazon, Facebook, and, and all kinds of big companies, they make it hard on purpose. They do it intentionally making it hard for people to find the contact page. And even if you find the contact page for them, they still make it very frustrating and difficult to use. They do this intentionally because they don't want people contacting them. It's called dark UI or dark UX. We want to do the opposite of what these guys are doing because we do want people to contact us. And number three, building trust. People are hesitant sending their information to businesses they don't know. And if you aren't an established brand, this could feel risky to the user. Uh, I myself, I'm hesitant sending out my personal or business email out to anyone because I don't know what's going to happen with it. I don't know what they're going to do. If I don't know that business, I don't know that company or that person. I don't know what's going to happen to my email or my message when I send it to them. You know, will they give it to someone else? Will I start to get spammed? You know, so this process of mind and is also one of the reasons why somebody starts to fill out a form and has a second thought before hitting that send and submit button. There are a few things that we could do to establish trust and to help ensure your your potential clients and customers that is safe, that you're safe and that you're in a legit business and nothing is going to happen to their information. One thing you could do to build trust is add a short disclaimer message that ensures the client or customer that their information will not be given to anybody else. No third parties will receive their information and that it could be deleted at any time upon request. Another thing you could do is show your privacy policy. This makes you look more professional and legit. You could add it right at the end of your disclaimer message, something that says like, for more information, please visit our privacy policy. And number three, make sure your website is GDPR compliant and then add a GDPR badge somewhere close to your contact form. This shows that you are following all GDPR regulations and that you are offering a safe place for your clients. This is going to help ensure that they're going to be protected, that you are a legit business, that you're trustworthy, and is going to help ease any of those reservations the client or customer may have by sending you their information. For this video, I want to do something a little extra. I want to give everybody out there a free download to our privacy policy template. It's going to be free. There's no strings attached. There's a link down in the description. It's super easy to use. You just fill in a couple of the blanks and then it's ready to go. You could add it to your website and you could use it to add to your clients' websites as well. I hope this video helps. I hope it helps everyone out there increase the conversions on your websites and get more leads. I want to see you all get more leads and get more business. And if this video does help and adds value to you, please hit the like and subscribe. It really helps your support is much appreciated. All right, thank you.